ERP is just leveled up and it's powered by AI agents. Welcome to this exciting episode of Agentic AI in Enterprise Resource Planning. Today, we are diving into the future where AI agents don't just exist. They act, decide and drive real business outcomes. And in this episode, we are shining the spotlight on one of the newest AI-powered additions from Microsoft, the Account Reconciliation Agent in Dynamics 65 Finance and Operations. This intelligent agent is designed to automate the tedious and time-consuming task of reconciling financial accounts. Instead of manually matching transactions or hunting down discrepancies, the account reconciliation agent analyzes data, identifies potential matches, and even flags exceptions, all with no human intervention. Now, I'm going to show you how it works in a live end-to-end -end demo. Before we dive into the agent itself, let's take a moment to understand the business context. If you are working in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations, this will sound familiar. Finance professionals often spend a significant amount of time each month reconciling subledgers with the general ledger. Typically, they rely on SSRS reports within each module, such as vendor to ledger reconciliation, customer to ledger reconciliation, and others. And then manually analyze the data to determine the necessary actions based on their judgment. It's a highly repetitive and time intensive task often leading to long hours and late nights, especially during the month in close. Now, let's take a look how this issue is addressed by the account reconciliation agent in Dynamics Executive Finance and Operations. I'm currently in Dynamics Executive Finance and Operations and this intelligent agent is available starting from the version 10.044. In this later part of this video, I will show you how to enable this agent in your environment. But for now, let's focus on seeing the agent in action. In my screen, you will notice the immersive new home page, another great addition in this version on which I have already created a video on this. You may have a look. And in the right hand side of this page here, the workspace called account reconciliation agent. I will click on this account reconciliation arrow and it will take me to the account reconciliation agent screen. This is the agent in action page where the reconciliation agent provides the area wise reconciliation insights. The agent actively monitors reconciliation activities across key financial areas, including bank, accounts payable, account receivable, and tax. As you can see on my screen, all these areas are being tracked and reconciled in real time, something that previously required users to manually generate reports and take actions. What's even more powerful is that the agent automatically flags any issues it identifies during the reconciliation process. For example, right here you can see it has de detected two exceptions in the bank area and three exceptions in the accounts payable, all highlighted without any manual intervention. You can also drill down into each reconciliation area for deeper analysis. For example, I will now drill into the bank section to review the exception details. With just a click, you will notice the system displays the amount differences, both in accounting currency and reporting currency. Additionally, it breaks down the data by legal entity, giving a clear and structured view. Similarly, if I click on this accounts payable and then it will show me the accounting currency difference and reporting currency difference for the accounts payable areas exceptions and other two areas are fully reconciled. There is no exception. This is the AI powered summary section which gives a quick overview of the reconciliation status on this page. It shows a key insight such as total number of exceptions, how many exceptions have been addressed, the number of transactions successfully reconciled in the selected period. You can also filter this view by calendar period, legal entity, and specific reconciliation areas. For example, when I select a different calendar period, you will notice that the entire summary updates dynamically, reflecting the new data instantly. Now, let's talk about the summary buckets. First one is open exceptions. This shows all the exceptions for the selected period broken down by the area and legal entity. Addressed exceptions indicates how many exceptions were resolved during this period using the agent. Reconcile transactions. It displays a number of transactions that were successfully reconciled by the agent. The next one is account reconciliation agent suggestions. This section is designed to provide AI driven recommendations to assist with reconciliation. However, please note at the time of recording this episode, the agent was released as part of this first public preview. And this recommendation feature is not yet available in this release. Once it's rolled out, I will be back with a follow up episode to walk you through the enhancement and new capabilities in this next episode of this powerful agent. Now let's take a look at the brain behind the agent. 
how it actually works and determines whether records are reconciled correctly or marked as exceptions. I will click on the settings option which opens an account reconciliation configuration page. This is where you can define the logic. This page displays the area wise configuration. And when I expand one of the areas, you will notice that specific ledger accounts are listed. Where do these ledger accounts come from? These are automatically pulled by the reconciliation agent from the posting profile setups for each module. Like an example for accounts payable, the agent fetches accounts from the vendor posting profile. For account receivable, it pulls from the customer posting profile. Bank accounts are derived from the bank master ledger setup. For tax, it references the tax ledger posting profile. Here's something even more powerful. The agent is smart enough to dynamically update its configuration. Let's test this. I will add a new ledger account to the vendor posting profile. And there it is. The agent automatically picks it up and includes it in the setup without any manual intervention. If needed, you can also manually add ledger accounts directly from this page. And the agent will immediately start tracking their reconciliation activity going forward. Now let's understand how the agent performs reconciliation and what triggers exceptions behind the scenes. In a nutshell, if any ledger account from the agent setup is used in a transaction outside of the sub ledger, for example, used in a manual journal entry, the agent will detect that and flag it as an exception. The reason is those ledger accounts are part of posting profile and it should only be used in sub ledger postings like vendor invoice or customer invoice tax station, bank entries, so on and so forth. Another common trigger is when there is a change in the posting profile group, like modifying the vendor group on a vendor record. Such changes can lead to mismatches between the sub ledger and general layer, and that's exactly where the agent steps in to flag potential reconciliation issues. Now let's deep dive into an actual exception to see how the agent helps us identify and resolve it. I will click on these bank reconciliation exceptions which takes us to the mitigate exceptions page. Here, the agent provides a summary of exceptions, details by area. On the left side, you will see a list of all exceptions with voucher numbers. When I select the voucher, the right hand side displays detailed activity related to the transaction, including an audit trail. For example, in this voucher, we can see the posting date, ledger date, legal entity, and the sub ledger account type used. Now, if you look closely, this voucher was posted as a general journal JB and importantly, no bank account was selected. Instead, it was posted as a ledger to ledger transaction bypassing the sub, sub ledger. And that's exactly what triggers the exception. Because as for the agent's logic, if a ledger account tied to a sub ledger or posting profile is used in a manual JB, it is treated as reconciliation exceptions. And here you will see reconciliation failed. The issue type is in ledger but on not in sub ledger. The agent does not just track exceptions. It also helps us mitigate them right from this middle section of the page. At the top, you will find a set of powerful actions called reverts, create journal adjustment entries, link transactions, and accept without changes. It is up to us which mitigation options we will consider and proceed accordingly. This makes the exception handling process not only intelligent, but also interactive and actionable, all within the same workspace. Very impressive, I must say. For these exceptions, the voucher number ending with 1050, we will follow the reverse option to mitigate this. Let me click on reverse. And it will ask us to reason comment. I will write incorrect posting. I will click on OK. It will take me to the voucher transaction page. However, please note, in this release, if you click on reverse, it will not reverse the transaction. Instead, it will take you to the voucher transaction page and you can reverse the transaction manually. And just click on reverse, use existing dates for reversal, click on reverse. The transaction is reversed now. I'll go back. Now you'll notice the voucher ending with 1050 is no more. Where I can find it? I will go back and you will notice in this bucket, this is called address exceptions. As I mentioned earlier in this video, this bucket is for all the exceptions which were addressed by using this agent will be popped up here. So I'll click on view addressed exceptions. And here the voucher which we have addressed using the agent which is 1050, it's here. And in, in the activity, you will see all the audit trails, what we have done to 
to mitigate this issue is updated here and in the middle section of this page you'll see company voucher main account date accounting currency reporting currency account name and hdf sub ledger transactions and here if you want to reverse this transaction or you want to undo this reverse transaction you can click on undo and it will be back in the exceptions page now i will select another exceptions from the bank module i'll click on exceptions this one is reconciliation failed and previously we tried with reverse and create journal entry is also same it will take you to the jb page but it will not create the journal entry in this release so once you land it once you are in the jb page you can create the manual adjustment entry and proceed according link transactions you click on the link transaction here in le in ledger not sub ledger entries will be coming from these exceptions and in this tab in sub ledger not ledger sometimes it happens that if you post something in the sub ledger that is not reflected in the ledger so with those kind of transaction you can link you can select those two and you can link and here you can add the comment and you can click on link transactions last which is accept without change sometimes it's a genuine case that due to some issue maybe a month end issue someone had to post a genuine entry in this ledger rather than using the sub ledger so those we cannot reverse neither we can create an adjustment entry those itself is an adjustment entry in ledger to ledger transactions so for that this accept without change option is there so you can click on accept without changes again add a reason comment adjustment entry is posted i click on ok so now all done i'll go back and you'll see under bank it is all fully reconciled and if i click on this fully reconciled it will take me to the reconciliation page where all the reconciliation has been done by this by using this agent and they will notice status is exception exception addressed reconciled exception addressed exception addressed so on and so forth similarly we can do this for accounts payable options as well so once you are testing this you can test this with the accounts payable as well now coming to this open exception tab we we discuss this address exceptions we'll again discuss this one however we'll start with the first one open exceptions if we click on open exceptions there are number 3 and there is an option called mitigate exceptions it will you'll click on this mitigate ex exceptions and it it will take us to the same page which we actually have seen at the time of seeing the transaction from the exceptions rather than going from here you can just click on mitigate exceptions and it will take you to the mitigate ex exception page and from here you can take necessary actions and address exceptions which you have already discussed here you can click on view address exceptions and all the address exceptions with the audit trail will be coming in this page like accepted without change accepted without change these four we have accepted without change and then reverse transaction reverse transactions and there are these are the uh, sub ledger entries and this is the audit trail and this bucket is for reconciled transactions i'll click on re re reconciled transactions and this is the same page which you have seen from the fully reconciled options and again account reconciliation agent which i have talked about earlier that in this release when i am recording this episode this options is not available it will be released in the next phase which i will create the episode and will broadcast now you might be wondering how does the agent keep the reconciliation data updated is it happening in real time or is there a schedule behind the scenes well the account reconciliation agent operates using microsoft's process automation framework which you can easily locate in the process automation scheduler and here is the best part whether it's hourly daily or aligned with your fiscal periods you can configure it based on your organization specific needs to ensure reconciliation data is always accurate and up to date now let's talk about the most important part how do you enable this agent in microsoft dynamics 365 financial operations this account reconciliation agent is available starting from version 1044 
to activate it head over to feature management but before enabling this agent itself make sure to first turn on the agent management feature this acts as a foundation for all ai powered agents once that's enabled you can go ahead and activate the account reconciliation agent and here's something exciting this release also includes another intelligent agent called supplier communication agent but don't worry we will explore that in the upcoming episode of the agenting ai series for now that's everything about the first finance agent in dynamics executive financial operations the powerful and intelligent account reconciliation agent thanks for watching